oysters. You either love them or you hate them. If you hate them, this video isn't for you because this video is Oysters 101, all about oysters. I'm in Biloxi, Mississippi. Just like coastlines up the Pacific, up the Atlantic, Mississippi, Alabama, Texas, Florida, all over the coastlines, there are oyster bars, there are oyster taverns, saloons, seafood restaurants that have oyster bars with inside. So obviously there is a huge love affair with oysters. This video is all about how I prepare oysters my favorite ways, how I love them. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how I do it. I've been shucking oysters. I've gotten, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is my ninth oyster. Working on our first dozen here. This is how I shuck them. I normally go in from the joint end, as most people do. Occasionally, if the formation of the shell doesn't allow me any easy access, I will go in through the front using a very thin bladed paring knife to separate the shells. You want to take your oyster knife. That's what this is, is an oyster knife made, designed strictly for what I'm doing here. You want to go in this joint in with your knife. Just give a little twist. You'll see where it goes a little bit deeper in there. Once you got it bottomed out, just pop it. All right, it's separated. Now from here, I'm going to give it a little bit of a tug. Pry it open. Then run your knife through the top of the shell. And what you're basically doing, if you look right here, is I'm trying to sever this muscle right here. And there it is. There's an oyster all intact. Got the liquor in there. Do not let that liquor pour out. That is pure flavor. If you got any little bits of shell or anything in there you don't care for, just scrape it out. That's looking beautiful. These are beautiful oysters. Come out of Pass Christian, Mississippi. Actually on Louisiana waters, which is just due south of Pass Christian. All right, we're gonna char grill this dozen here. I've got a ton of oysters left. This is probably the simplest form of char-grilled oysters, but hey, very, very delicious. I've got other oyster videos on my channel. Bloody Mary oysters. I've got my own rendition of Oysters Rockefeller, which are just absolutely out of this world. But these are very easy, very simple, very delicious. It's going to place them on here. The shells are going to heat up. They're going to start simmering in their own juice. And once those edges begin to curl, you know you're getting close. We're going to be adding a garlic butter with a little bit of parsley to this. That's really what's going to kick it up a notch. These are going to be excellent. These oysters are ready. I'm going to be placing them over here on some rock salt. That's going to help hold the heat in these very, very hot shells. When the oysters begin to curl back, plump up, you know they're ready. So this is one of the many ways I enjoy oysters. There's so many things you can do with it. You can fry oysters. I use them on an oyster po' boy. They're fried. A lot of times I mix them with shrimp. My favorite way, which is what we're going to do next, is raw oysters or naked oysters. Actually, naked is with no sauce or no anything. I do happen to like a little horseradish sauce in mine as well. But what this is, is a char-grilled oyster in its simplest form. Just butter, garlic, a little parsley. Going to be delicious. Let's go ahead and take one of these. 
See what we got? Just a touch. You don't want to overpower it with a sauce. Just a touch of the cocktail sauce. Mm. Oh, man, yeah. A little bit plumper one right here. Oh, these are good. Like I said earlier, you either love them or you hate them. I happen to love them. Can't get enough of them. All right, let's do just raw oysters. Show, show how I plate them up, how they're served in the restaurants around here. If you go anywhere up and down this coast, this is more than likely how you're going to see it. I'm going to show you that it's coming up next. There's many ways to prepare oysters, like I said. This just happens to be my very favorite, and they're raw right out of the shell. All right, we're going to take an oyster here, and you try to reserve as much of that liquor as you can. Now, you got to separate the bottom muscle from this as well. I normally just do that with my fork, just like that, and he comes loose, okay? Now, cocktail sauce, fine, or you can just have it naked. This is what they call naked, and you already got a built-in spoon. Mm. Lord have mercy. You can taste the sea that it was raised in, the flavors. They are perfectly salted. That's the thing about them. Anytime you prepare oysters like I've done today, you never add salt because you've got the perfect salt content from the ocean, from the sea. Now we're going to be doing some fried oysters. Going to make some real simple, easy to make little oyster po' boys. Going to start by taking one egg. Going to take some beer. We're going to add this beer into that one egg. And we're going to beat this in. I've taken and drained these oysters, all the juices out of them. We're just gonna let them hang out right here in this beer and egg. While that's doing that, I'm gonna take self-rising flour and I'm going to season it pretty liberally. Just use your favorite seasoning. Go in with a little bit more. And as I stated earlier, you never salt your oysters. This particular rub is not very high in salt or sodium, so we should be looking good. When you do decide to use a seasoning for your oysters, look for a low salt, low sodium. All right, I'm gonna use the same strainer that I used earlier to strain the liquor from the oysters, and now I'm gonna strain the egg and the beer. These are nice and coated. From here, we're just simply going to dump these oysters over into this flour mixture. You're going to have to use your hands for this one. A little bit of egg there is not going to hurt nothing. What you want to do is completely embed this flour and toss them into these oysters, making sure to coat all sides. And for this to really adhere and hold good, once you get these fully coated, just bury them up under the flour and let them hang out for around at least a minute. We just want to let them sit right here. We're letting our oil come up to temperature. We'll be deep frying shortly. We got my temperature up to 350 degrees on this cooking oil. You can use a canola, vegetable oil, any oil of your choice, really. Canola, I particularly like because there's not a lot of flavor in that oil that takes away from the flavor of the seafood. We're just going to drop these in. We're going to fry them till they're golden brown. It's not going to take long. All you're looking for is a real golden brown, and we're just about there. The last thing you want to do is overcook these oysters. All right, I'm going to start taking these out. Now we're going in with batch two. A lot of people here in the south, they'll use a mixture of, of flour and cornmeal or masa, which is more of a corn flour. I do that occasionally on some seafood. But on oysters, I really like using this self-rising flour. It gives it a real restaurant quality. If you go into the seafood restaurants around here, most of the time, they're gonna be fried just like this. Just turn my fire off. These are ready, looking really good. I've got my broiler on, getting ready to toast some, some po' boy buns. 
and we're gonna put us a po' board together. So I'm making like little po' boys. These are not that big. These are only like five inches long, inch and a half wide. So I'm going with two of them. One would just make me mad. I'm gonna go ahead and spread just plain straight up mayo on both sides, top and bottom. All right, next I have some shredded lettuce. Gonna put a little there on each bottom. Got some really thin cut tomatoes. Then for the final touch, we're gonna go on with some of these oysters. These are so good. I've got a video up also where I did a, a oyster bell tea using the homemade bacon I did. Oh my goodness. You talk about fun. If you're an oyster lover, I would implore you to try that. And I'm just going to put a dash or two of some Louisiana hot sauce. See if we can close these up. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're ready for a taste test. Another fantastic way to use oysters. I don't have to tell you how good that is. I tell you, I've been eating these all my life. This is a little miniature version of the oyster po' boy. And uh, it's so good. It's just another great way to use and utilize oysters. So many things you can do with them. I was talking with a guy last night on Facebook and you can do oyster dressing uh, you can do an oyster soup or stew, which is really good. I enjoy that as well. But my favorite ways would probably be uh, what I've shown you. The grilled, the raw, and of course fried. That's the way I do oysters. Thank you for watching the video. For all of you oyster lovers, I appreciate it. And I hope you give some of these a try. Until next time, smoke your ribs.